In this video, I'm walking you through the only three things you need to go from six to seven figures while ditching all the unnecessary things that'll just make your life harder. Starting with the biggest mistake I see people make when they're excited about hitting that next revenue goal. Let's do more. But this is actually not the time for that. I know it can sound kind of counterintuitive when popular unwisdom says you gotta diversify, but there's actually a very important reason why you shouldn't. To hit six figures, you've likely built this beautiful foundation of just one to two offers. Now it's time to reap the rewards and see how big you can grow that foundation. But that simplicity can feel scary. Like, what am I missing, right? When I first crossed six figures, I did it primarily through one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I realized, and this is going to be so important for your business too, that the key to sustainable growth is to figure out a way to scale what's already working. A common option is to productize the information you've been delivering by packaging it into a course and the service you've been providing by offering it in a leveraged group format. That's what I did too. But there is an important piece that most advice skims over. Before I finalized my course, I first ran it live as a group program for four years. This allowed me to get really good at refining it, selling it, and making sure my clients got the best results. Then as you build your reputation, product, and support team, you can naturally shift your attention from delivering it to scaling it. But if all that feels too overwhelming right now, there is an even simpler option you can use to scale what's already working. You can start with creating an entry-level offer that productizes just one main piece of your core offer. I call it a first steps product because you are literally just packaging the first steps of everything you can help a client with. Doing this sets you up for a triple win situation because it's easier for you to create, it's easier to sell too, and it's easier for your clients to get better results, which means more testimonials for you. High five to that. But no matter how you choose to do it, the through line is clear. Focus on just one main offer if you want to get to seven figures as simply as possible. But that is not the only piece you need to fine tune if you want to make things relatively fast and easy. Because having the best offer in the world does not matter if you do not have people buying from you. There are two common ways to approach this. The first is by offering a free training where you share how you help your clients. At the end of the training, you can either extend an invite to buy or to book a sales call. But if your goal is to grow faster, I recommend starting with a live launch, which you treat essentially like a movie premiere. Think of how Barbie builds anticipation for the movie with great engagement strategies like short videos, memes, <laughs> right as always, and images that captured people's attention and got them excited for the movie. But even the best sales process in the world will fail if no one is going through it. That's where your traffic source comes in. Your mind might immediately jump to one of the most common methods for growing your audience. But fair warning, the one you're probably thinking of, it can also be the hardest because to be successful with social media, you've got to be good at growing on social media, which is a whole skill set in of itself. Personally, I would rather not leave my growth to chance, which is why I started with this next method instead. The reality is if you are building your business and doing everything yourself in the beginning, you probably don't have a lot of time for audience building. I was in the same boat. 
So since I was already making money from my one-on-one -on -one work, I decided to take about $2,000 and invest that into Facebook ads. That added a few hundred subscribers to my email list and jump-started my growth. In case you're wondering, these days I don't use ads that much. I still think they are great for jump-starting your growth, but beyond that, I personally think that SEO is a much more scalable growth strategy, which is why that's what I personally focus most of my time and energy on these days. But if none of the current options we just covered sound like your cup of tea, don't worry. Another option you have is to find people who serve an audience similar to yours, but who are not direct competitors. Ideally, they provide a service or product that complements yours. That way, you can offer them a percentage of every sale they drive from their audience. All this being said, Please do not fall into the trap that a lot of newish business owners fall into. Trying to do all of these options at the same time, you will most likely deplete your resources, burn out, and not succeed at any of them. Instead, focus on mastering just one traffic source first. But I still get people coming to me asking, Louisa, I am doing all of this, so why can I still not get past six figures? The problem is almost always the same. You are not looking at your business like a high-level CEO, where you are operating your business instead of being in it. The good news is you really only need to focus on three things to operate your business to seven figures. First, what is your sales conversion rate? For example, back when I was running ads, I knew that for every 100 people who joined my email list, about one or two of them would end up buying my product. This allowed me to reverse engineer how many people I needed to get in front of to hit a certain sales goal. Second, what is your cost per lead? This is basically knowing how much it costs you to get each person signed up into your sales system. Once you know this number, you can calculate how much total it'll cost you to get the number of customers that you want. But how you calculate this number will depend on which traffic source you're using. For example, I still do the same calculation with SEO, it just looks a little different. I need to spend this amount with my agency, so they'll do these things, which will lead to about this many subscribers, which will turn into approximately this many sales. Last, but definitely not least, you need to find out how long it takes for someone from when they find you to when they will buy from you. Is it five days, five months? because this will help you manage your cash flow. All of this starts with transitioning from one-on-one -on -one services to more leveraged products like group programs or courses. That's why in this next video, I will walk you through how to make that transition smoothly, including a few surprising pitfalls, plus how to avoid them that most people don't talk about.